watch the sun go down over the same old town like so many times before we look at the same old stars battle the same old wars like so many times before and i know that we're not perfect but i'm gonna miss all that okay so it's been a while hi i miss you um our family went through a bit of a rough patch. My daughter was in the hospital. She was diagnosed with Guillain-Barre syndrome. This is probably as much as I will talk about it because we like to do recipes and family stuff, happy things on my channel. So currently we are staying in Pennsylvania until she recovers. Um, we are at home though, recovering with family. And we have quite a bit of property here at my mom's, so we have plenty to do, but we are gonna try and do some more videos. I just wanted to step on and say thank you for all of the support. We could not have done this without the support. We are just so, so grateful and thankful to have this community and the community of doctors that helped with my daughter's recovery. It will be quite a long process, but we're just happy that she's home and happy she's with us. I have my son here and my husband is actually back in Colorado. He is working and then he will come back and we will make the drive together. So we are in the woods of Pennsylvania here and I am just going to pick some stuff from the garden and we're gonna take you along and kind of do a day in the life but a what I eat in a day. Um, I just have my phone here. I don't even have my good camera. So we're gonna do a few vlogs and recipes while we're here just to get the videos back and going yeah a lot of people have asked how they can support just the typical stuff they can you can watch the videos you can like you can share subscribe if you have not and that will help us you know immensely and of course i love to have a conversation so if you want to reach out and talk to me my instagram handle is in the description box as well as facebook and all that good stuff so we are going to get into today's video. We are going to pick some amazing things from this garden here. It is right behind me and it is plentiful. There's just so many yummy vegetables, maybe some fruits in there. And yeah, I'm happy to be back and I appreciate all of you. Let's get right into today's vlog slash what I eat in a day. Okay, so we have some onions here and some carrots, right? I'm not going to pick any of those because we do have some carrots inside. The onions might be ready, a few of them, but I am just going to pick what I know here. So we have some banana peppers. We actually have those inside too. What I'm on the hunt for currently is some cucumbers. And I'll take you down to the pumpkins later on in the squash to show you. Of course, they're just not ready yet, but it really depends on where you are in the world and when you planted them and all that stuff. But here are my favorites. They are the sunflowers. They're just so big. And then here's some over here. And I'll show you how big the sunflowers are. Wilder, can you stand in front? So that's how tall they are compared to him. Ah. What? What is that? Can you blow it? Can you blow it? No, the sunflowers are going. Yeah. Yeah, so we're gonna grab some cucumber and make some lunch, right? Mm -hmm. Yummy. All right, let's get going. I can feel the winds of change. You live and you learn. And I hope I've seen enough to make something right. And make up for what I. What'd you get? I get the cucumbers. <gasps> Bud. What? Thanks. <laughs> so for lunch, I made a fresh salad with those cucumbers and tomato from the garden. I had some salad left over from a restaurant that we went to and some local bib <laughs> lettuce here. And then we also had some red beets. I love red beets on a salad. If you haven't tried it, you totally should. So I'm gonna chop it up with some hummus and then I'm gonna put some of this olive oil and vinegar on it. And then I was craving something a little savory. So I got a bagel and avocado spread from Starbucks because my town has a Starbucks now, which is crazy to me. It's just such a small town. I'm 
We are just playing a little bit before we go for a nap and here is my beautiful baby girl. Like I said, I'm not going to talk a lot about her rare autoimmune issue that she had, but wow, it was a whirlwind. I will leave it in the description box below and you can do your research. All right, we are making some little taco bowls for lunch and I'm making the cheese sauce. So I have some onion, carrot, sweet potato. I'm gonna boil that up with some water and salt. And then I'm going to blend it with some salsa verde. So it's like green chilies and things like that. Super, super mild spice, if any. I, there's not really a lot of spice in there. And then about a tablespoon of the Kite Hill cream cheese, a little squirt of lemon, and then I might do some cumin or something like that to drizzle it over the rice bowl. And then from there, I will show you what we're gonna do. So we'll just do like rice and veggies and then we're gonna do some jackfruit to make it into like carnitas and then um, gonna put the cheese sauce on top of it. All right, for the meat-ish portion of the meal, we're gonna do some of this jackfruit. It's labeled vegan, but always check. Um, the Upton brand is really good. I just like the plain. Um, and then I add my sauces to it. They have barbecue, teriyaki, things like that. But the plain's good because you can adjust your sauces. And then I'm going to just use some of this taco sauce that we have on hand and mix it together. And that will be the meat portion. So if you're not familiar with jackfruit, it looks like this. Um, they sell these in store. It's really hard to uh, pick apart and do all that. So let's just look at the list here proteins less than a gram so I mean like not the best but it does have like that meaty texture and I don't know I really like it if I were to make a rice bowl with like a vegan meat I would use jackfruit as opposed to something more like prepared that you would find at the store like those faux vegan meats that are lab made so I really like jackfruit so if you haven't tried it try it out it's kind of like tofu it can take the form of any sauce that you give it in my opinion I get so caught up in the middle thinking of drowning in those blue eyes I'm losing sight cause I am falling I'm so deep down Deep down, and it's not a lie that I die. I can't hide how, uh, what this is. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, I keep drowning in those blue eyes, and you can tell me all of your lies. I will put out all of the fire if it gets to.
it's too dark. All right, Wilder and I are on a walk in the woods while sister naps for a little bit. We just had, had some lunch that you saw and we didn't bring any snacks on our little hike. It's not too strenuous of a hike. It's just some trails back here behind my parents' house, like some logging trails. So just some nice wooded quiet time with my guy. He is just like not napping while we're here, which is fine with me. So I just wanted to bring him out. We spend most of the day outside, but I wanted him to show where I grew up, living in the woods and just loving it. And I know he does too. So we are looking for some deer, right? We looking for deer? Uh -huh. Yep. Saw some bugs and we are being mindful of ticks because if you know about ticks, they're some bad news bears. So we are trying to stay away from them and be as careful as we can. We're gonna take you throughout the rest of the day. I think we're gonna go to a carnival tonight. Super excited, um, small town carnival. So oh. we will eat some really yummy food and have some fun with family. All right, I will see you later. We are headed down to go look at the river and we stopped really quick to get an impossible Whopper. So I get the impossible Whopper, no cheese, no mayo. Um, yeah, there's two birds over there. And then you can ask for it to be microwaved instead of on the grill with everything else. But it comes with lettuce and tomato. And then I just take the onions off because it makes me have a migraine. But I just wanted to show you that you can eat like semi-healthy when you are eating fast food. I actually, I take it back. It's not healthy at all. But there is something for me to eat when I go to restaurants like this. The only, I'll turn you around. Okay, so the only problem I have is with McDonald's because their fries are made with beef powder. There's really nothing I can eat there. So we generally tend to, if we need to go to fast food, it's gonna be Burger King or Taco Bell. But we are gonna head down to the boat. Are you ready? Yeah. And we are just going to hang out. We'll show you the little picnic, what we're having to eat there, and we will see you soon. I didn't get a chance to record what we ate at the picnic, but of course we had some Pennsylvania pierogies and I'm gonna end the vlog here. I'm gonna try and keep these going. We have a lengthy road trip on the way back and I wanna show you how to eat kind of healthy on the road. So I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for being here. As always, stay adventurous, stay creative, and I will see you next time, y'all. Bye.